No, the, these, these five-star reviews are paid for, right? There's no way they're real. No way real people rated this five-star. No way hundreds of people rated this five stars. There's no way. I won't, I don't believe it. PSA. These are all the same game. And it's a contender for worst gotcha of all time. Avoid. So let's open these images. Let's take a look what the games are. Who the developers and publishers are. And let's take a look at the ratings over on Google. Because I'm curious how they're doing. Ultimate Arena of Fate. 100,000 downloads, three stars, one review, 1,000 reviews. Showdown of Fate, early access. All right, 100,000 downloads, 100,000 downloads, 100,000 downloads for Battle of Ultimate Fate, early access, okay. Fate of Awakening Battle, early access, 100 plus downloads, all right. Goddess of Fate 4, Lilith, early access, 50,000 downloads, okay. Let's take a look at the... I guess let's Google, let's Google the names, right? So the names of the games are as follows. Ultimate Arena of Fate, Showdown of Fate, Battle of Ultimate Fate, Fate of Awakening Battle, Goddess of Fate. So like there is definitely some, some very, very strong similarities between games. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at some of the character models. Let's see if we could see any actual physical resemblances between characters or gameplay okay between games because that's what this is claiming right these are all the same game which means that they should share some similarities right all right so first let's go with this girl there's this pink haired girl with the big booba and the blue things in her hair here we have a pink haired girl with the big booba and blue things in her hair she has a slightly different outfit though and she has a different eye color okay yeah i see it here is a, a pink haired girl with pink eyes, black outfit, and blue things in her hair. Very different looking game. All right, let's take a look at this one. Here we have a pink haired girl with blue eyes and blue things in her hair. And this apparently they don't want us looking at. Oh, oh, all right. There's a pink haired girl with big booba, blue eyes, and blue horn things in her hair. Okay, there we go. Wow, there is definitely... Yeah, I can see the similarity between these five gacha games. Just looking purely at the character models alone. Is she holding an Xbox controller? They have the same pose too? They really do, right? They'll have the exact same pose. Hand in the mouth, like mouth open. It's, it's unreal. They're using the same character for five different games. But the logos are different. Ultimate Arena. What's the logo for this one? I can't even see the logo. They don't even have a logo for this one. Oh, that's... Okay, wife. Here they're using the Nikkei logo, the Nikkei font. That's always a sign of a quality game. You can literally do a search for Nikkei logo and you can see the Nikkei logo, right? This is the font they came up with for it. The waifu up there, more waifus waiting for it. Yeah, it's literally the same fucking font. Come on. This is a version where she's made by AI and a version made by a human. That's what it feels like, right? Like this one looks drawn. And then you look at this one and it looks like AI because you can tell. Just look at the face. So different. And very noticeable. Let's take a look at the actual waifus though, though. Like outside of the pink haired girl. Here we have a blue haired girl. Would anyone even wear that outfit? That looks so bizarre. Here we have... Oh, they're pretty cool looking waifus. They look AI generated, but there's some pretty cool... Oh, here's a... Here's a nice looking character. Yeah, they're a very attractive looking waifu. 100%. Yeah. We found two very cool looking waifus so far. Very attractive. Oh, there's a cowgirl. She she almost looks like that girl. Doesn't she, Chad? Oh, wait, but no. She has brown eyes? And she has blue eyes. Whoa. Man. Yeah. They're putting in make generic blonde hair, blue eyed cowgirl. Really ripped. <laughs> All right, let's... Oh, look at her. Oh yeah, she like comparing the, the waifus from these different games, like her to her to her. Oh yeah, these are very unique characters. Very pretty. Like, I, I don't understand how this is even allowed though. Like they're all technically different studios. This is from Unlimited Ads. This is from Orchid Savona Technology. This is from Rio Sapolo. This is from Carl Grand Mason. 
And this is from Ezra Rejoicing. They all only have one game. And they all, they even used the same art. Look at this. Pink haired girl with big booba. Pink haired girl with big booba. Her name's Adriana. She's practically got the same name as my fucking wife. Pink haired girl with big booba. Pink haired girl with big booba. P uh, like, dude, come on. It's bad enough all the names are the same. All the logos, are, all the, the advertising materials are the same. Like, everything is the same. And it, how do they get three stars? Before we go any further into this video though, I wanna take a moment here to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon who allow for me to continue to do videos like this every single day. How do you rate it three stars? There's no way. These five games are all the same. They should all be rated one star just to screw with the beginning out of spite no the, these these five star reviews are paid for right there's no way they're real no way real people rated this five star no way hundreds of people rated this five stars there's no way i won't i don't believe it we're enough asset flip trash games saturating all the stores now ai will multiply those exponentially it it is so sad to see i just what even what 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 that it doesn't even look good what even is this game it looks horrible Oh my god, do we even want to look at that? Oh. 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 So there you go. This is, uh... Yeah. Worst gotcha of all time. Yeah, because there are five instances of it, and all five are absolute fucking horseshit. So it's the worst gotcha of all time five times in a row, consecutively. <laughs> we found the worst gotcha ever five times. <laughs> they can't keep getting away with this they really shouldn't because they're making money off of every single one of these hundreds of thousands of players then they just re-release the same shit and they make more money and they release the same shit and they make more money like literally look at these two games look at the similarities between the actual game this is a game it's the actual same game they're using the same screenshot be Look, the name Mocha with 634 million power. Mocha with 634 million power with 850k premium gems, 850k. It is the same account of the same game. It is like, come on, come on, come on. You can hide it better than that. Uh, this is a very in-depth investigation. Oh yeah. Why bother even trying to hide it? I know when your games are getting hundreds of thousands of downloads and earning millions of dollars, why even bother, right? 100k downloads, 100k downloads, 100k downloads. Like, dude, so stupid. 